What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Now, I made a video a little bit ago, very short while ago, um, about the Lions just signing Josh Gar Garnett. Now, I'm going to break him down a little bit to give you a lot more information on who this guy really is. So let's get it started. I don't know what that intro was, y'all. I'm sorry. That was so awkward. But basically, I'm going to give you guys a breakdown on who Josh Garnett is, the new Detroit Lions offensive lineman, at least for now, okay? Now, I, I talked about last video, you know, game starts and that he was drafted in the first round. He was from Stanford. That's pretty much all I gave you. I want to give you guys a little bit more, a little bit from what I've been able to take from research and throw it to you guys to show you guys who really Josh Garnett is, okay? Now, he, back in high school, went to Pi Piallup High School. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. I'm not really sure. Probably not saying that right. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You guys are just kind of deal with that one. Uh, he played in 14 games then at Stanford, and uh, at Stanford, he was known to be a really good offensive lineman, hence the reason that he was drafted in the first round. Now, he did struggle against a lot of good competition like DeForest Buckner, but as we know, DeForest Buckner is an absolute beast in the NFL, so it doesn't really surprise me. He was 6'4", 312 pounds coming out of college, and uh, his 40-yard dash was a 5'3'2", so he's really slow. Actually, no, honestly, that would probably be faster than mine. Wow, I'm slow, dog. I think that is faster than me. Huh. Either he's really fast or I'm really Oh, I'm getting off topic. Okay. Anyways, he was drafted in the twenty he was drafted twenty eighth in the two thousand sixteen draft by the San Francisco 49ers. They were hyped. They got a really good offensive lineman out of Stanford who can run block. Because that's what San Francisco is now. They are a run blocking team. And this guy could run block. But unfortunately, a lot of injuries derailed what his career would look like for the San Francisco 49ers. So he struggled a little bit. But then in 2017, he had to deal with knee surgery, which ended his whole season. Then in 2018, when he was able to come back, he dislocated his toe, which made him miss six more games. So really unfortunate. His fifth year option was declined. And then he became a free agent. Now, as we know, he is with the Detroit Lions as of today. He was a really good offensive lineman, though, when healthy. He was he won the Outland Trophy and the Morris Trophy back in 2015. And like I said in the last video, he played in 22 games with 11 starts in the NFL. Now, I decided to look a little bit deeper and really figure out what this player is good at and why we would bring him in. Well, what he was best at, coming out of college at least, was being a pulling and run blocker. This is a run blocker by nature, okay? We're bringing in Josh Garnett, who can run block. That's, that's what he came in for. That's what he was known for. That's what he did well in college. And that's kind of why I believe San Francisco brought him in. They're a running team right now we could see it maybe they were trying to build it back then didn't work out we see a lot of missed players and I think a lot of it had to do with injuries unfortunately injuries can derail an entire career and hopefully as he comes with Detroit he's able to find that healthiness now I think a lot of people are worried about this one saying oh no you know we we signed another injury prone guy one I don't know why we keep doing that but two I think this is one of those guys that we're taking the risk on so early and I'm not mad about it um we're taking a risk on a guy that's injured but at the same time it's not like we're taking a huge risk here he, you know he was he was cut he, he didn't even get a second contract in the NFL after his rookie deal so it's not to me a big a big deal you know you didn't give him a huge deal and he was a first round he does have that talent it's the injury that really is worrying everybody right now the multiple injuries he's had to deal with. So I'm not too worried about it. I know it stinks that we keep getting injury prone guys. I mean, yes, it's not good, but at the same time, I think, you know, the potential is there. You know, it's a risk reward type of deal. If there was no injury, there's no way he probably wouldn't have been cut in the first place, honestly. Now, that doesn't mean he would have been a good offensive lineman, but he probably wouldn't have been cut. You know, at least maybe someone else would have gave him another deal, okay? But the injuries are what really makes it a high risk, high reward. So I'm not mad about it. But like I said, he was a run blocker. He was really good in man run blocking at Stanford. But in. The other side, what he was bad at is pass protection. Now, he wasn't terrible in college because obviously he was still a first-round pick. If he was awful, he wouldn't have went first round. Trust me on that one. But pass protection is not a strong suit, and that worries me personally because I, I look at Matthew Stafford's health as the number one important thing. That guy that we have to keep healthy is Matthew Stafford. So certainly that worries me more than anything. And then obviously the injuries. I mean, injuries can keep reoccurring. Now, the good thing is is both of his injuries are not in the same place. Right? One was a knee injury and the other one was a dislocated toe. Um, that's not good, but obviously I don't think the toe is something that necessarily is going to come back. I don't think the knee injury is where you have to be worried about because he did have surgery there. So hopefully now that he had surgery and he's not kind of just band-aiding it, you know what I mean? Hopefully he's completely healed and he'll be good to go, but I'm not mad about this. I do like the fact that we took a little bit of risk here. Sure. I love getting healthy players. And when it comes to the draft and going big money for free agents, we better be getting healthy players. But in this case, you're getting a guy that was a first-round pick that has, has a high potential ceiling. At least, you know, you could go bring in a guy that's just going to be a placeholder, but what the heck is the point? Why would we go sign a guy that has literally no potential at all just because he's healthy? I mean, seriously, he wouldn't have been a free agent otherwise. So I'm not mad about this. But when it comes to spending big money and in the draft, I don't want to get injured players. But in this case, I'm okay with it, and uh, he's kind of fast. 
So there you go. That's who Josh Garnett is. Hopefully that cleared it up a little bit more. Are you happy about the signing? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you, Brad, for watching. And I'm out.